we've talked about geolocation being a single question survey asking, where are you right now? And in order to derive insight from that and to answer your key questions about who's visiting, why they're visiting, when they're visiting, and how they're consuming your destination, we need to put some important constructs around that. That provides context, and that's really the key of our place-based strategy. So let's get started with a few key terms with which you should be familiar. The first is regions. Regions are among my favorite ways of looking and analyzing at geolocation data because it provides a broader geographic area. For a state, it would be groupings of counties that have similar visitation characteristics. For a county or a city, these would be quarters or districts or neighborhoods, similar uh, but at a smaller scale to what you'd experience on the state. Places that have a similar visitation char characteristic these are extraordinarily flexible in helping you understand and moderate your visitation. Note that official boundaries like cities and county boundaries are already added automatically, so there's no need for you to duplicate those here. Next, we're going to talk about the points of interest or key places, and those fall into two categories. One are the primary places. Think of those as the primary reason that somebody travels to your destination. If I were traveling to Paris, places like the Eiffel Tower or the Louvre would be key points of interest, primary points of interest, because that's what I'm planning my trip around. However, the hotel that I'm staying at, the train lines that I use, the restaurants that I eat at, the boutique shops that I go into, those aren't primary points of interest. Those are contextual points of interest. That's where a traveler spends the bulk of their time and their money, and they provide really important context to help you understand how people are traveling, how they're spending, and as in addition to providing additional sampling areas to improve the accuracy and the stability of your geolocation signal. The third construct are our categories. These are a predefined set of categories that tie together the behavioral signal across geolocation, credit card, website, and website contribution. We're very familiar with tracking origin markets, and some of us use behavioral signals and helping to understand ad targeting, content targeting, and user behavior. The categories are the best vehicle to be able to provide exactly that type of analysis, to understand who's spending at restaurants, who's visiting your retail places, what percentage of visitors are staying at attractions. All of those questions are answered through the use of these contextual POIs combined with their categories. The last point that I'll leave you with is that individual POIs by themselves don't tend to offer a lot of informational value. You find a lot more flexibility, a lot more stability and insight coming from the groupings of categories, whether that's at the regional level or by the category level. Those give you a lot more flexibility as well as a robust signal to work from. There are some occasions where an individual POI becomes an important focal point, like an event analysis or a convention center cross-visitation, but by and large, I recommend doing the bulk of your your analysis and your exploration at that category or at the regional level. That will give you the best results from your geolocation data.